Hello everybody, in this video I'll be showing you how to get to Snow Glow Wood. I will not be showing you how to get the wood, as I am currently working on that, and that video will be posted in a week or two. But, your first step is to follow this road down to the bridge, and make sure not to bring a truck or axe that you would don't want to lose. So bring an axe that is relatively easy for you to get. Okay. Then you want to lower the bridge for $100 from Saranac. And while we wait for the bridge to lower, please leave a like on the video and subscribe. It would, it would help me very well. Okay, and once the bridge is done lowering, you're going to want to follow the road, and at the intersection, keep going straight, and you're going to want to go all the way down to Bob's shack, and get one to two sticks of dynamite. I'm going to grab two, just in case, as you never know, it might not work the first time. Then you're going to want to chat with Bob, about those two items are $440, and then load them in the back of your truck. And then you are going to want to follow the cliffside to the left of Bob's shack until you get to until you get to this area with the very low rock face. And this is where you're going to need an axe. Because you're going to want to uh, chop down any the closest tree you can find. Once you chop that tree down, you're going to want to grab it and bring it over to this rock face. Or, yeah, bring it over to the rock face by where I parked my truck. Where did that tree go? Um, I'm gonna grab this cherry tree instead because that tree is not cooperating. And then you're going to want to line up the highest branches of the tree with the cliff. If I can do it. Yeah, you're going to want 
to get the highest possible point and make sure that you can jump up to that cliff when you place the tree there. You might need to get a different tree, it depends what one you get. Um, this tree doesn't want to cooperate either. But you are gonna want to line up any tree you can get. If it's tall enough, and you want to line it up with the cliff side and make sure that you can jump up to the cliff. I'm having troubles doing that, but you are want to going. You're gonna wanna. Bring one of your boxes of dynamite. I hit a cliff. Yeah. Then you're going to want to grab this dynamite and follow this rock path and uh, once you get up here you're gonna want to turn to the right and continue going up and then once you get up here do not go to the left Keep, continue going up this ramp and once you get to this corner take a right or keep going straight and then you should come to the swamp after you come down this ramp and you will end up in the water of the river, the Swamp River. And then you need to go to uh, on the left bay of the river. And then you need to keep walking along the shoreline until you get to the Swamp Rock. Which is a very small rock that is randomly in the middle of the swamp. You're going to want to place your box of dynamite on the ground right next to it. Then you're going to want to open the box and detonate the dynamite and then run away. And once the dynamite is detonated, the swamp rock should have exploded away, and it should have revealed a hole with a blue mist. You're going to jump into the hole, and there you go. You are now in the Tic Tat Work Memorial, and this is where you can get the snow glow wood, which is a wood that glows bright yellow on the outside. And is a more solid yellow on the inside, but it looks black on my screen. 
but if this tutorial helped you guys, then please leave a like on the video and subscribe.